first, let me say, among many of the special things about Texas is this election system you have. Nobody could have designed one this unique. We have not seen a competitive race in 20 years. Every four years, we go to the ballot box knowing that for most of us, the way we vote doesn't really make a difference. And even when it does make a difference, we're still only voting for the lesser of two evils. For the world's oldest democracy, that doesn't seem very democratic. I'm a retired school teacher. Do you think your students could have come up with a better electoral system than we got? And a New York man. <laughs> and if you can't find democracy in America, where in the world can you find it? Uh, the Labour Party would secure more popular votes, but not win the election. We set up a Royal Commission uh, to look at the electoral system. People felt very frustrated because it was only a two-party system, Tweedledum or Tweedledee, and if you changed, it didn't seem to make any difference. The direction was set. Fifteen years ago, New Zealand made a single change to their democratic system. They made sure that the number of representatives each party got was proportional to the number of votes they received. And that one little change changed everything. The last election in New Zealand, the 2005 election, uh, you had eight political parties qualified for representation. Um, it, it, it encourages people to get more engaged in the political process. They feel they can achieve things through this process which they couldn't achieve through the first past the post. It just means there's more voices in there, there's more representation in there, and so people can't get away with the same kind of platitudes because they're actually being challenged when, when they talk crap. I don't think our vote went down particularly, because we've never had many people voting for us anyway. Little wild bouquet, democracy is coming.